What's up guys? So another day. We still got Trisha back to the shop. Uh, I gotta redo some stuff that I did already. You know the story of my life, but uh uh mainly I've got it back in here to get the heat out of it. The sun's been baking on it out there and uh even working under the tent, the sun heats the tent, it's like working in here. In the shop here it's pretty well insulated. So uh I've got some I picked up some angle iron. I'm gonna I'm going to C-clamp them to the frame where they belong and get the holes marked, get those drilled mounted, then I'm going to get the fifth wheel mounted, drill those holes. Decided to go with the uh, the uh, fifth wheel off the 96. Um, I believe it's a newer model than that. It's probably replaced sometime in the last few years. It looks like it's in pretty good shape and it's the new style. You know where the angles are bolted to the frame and the uh, fifth wheel sits on the angles on on the outside of the frame and that way if i do get a new one it'd just be pop up the bolt slap it on and it's good to go no more drilling and all that other crap so uh i'm gonna do that and i'll probably run a time lapse on that uh go over some bolts check make sure things are tight a little bit more touch up in the front up there maybe even do the uh other tank straps get them uh wire wheeled and painted new rubbers put on and get those installed that way both tanks match uh, so we're, we're narrowing it down. Still got to get wiper blades. I um, uh, was supposed to do that today and forgot, so I'll probably run and do that tomorrow. If I have the uh, fifth wheel done tonight, I'll run tomorrow and get new wiper, wiper arms and blades. And uh, check that AC, see what's going on with that. Maybe put a little uh, squirt of gas in there and see how that goes. Uh, so I'll put you on a time lapse. Thanks for watching. All right, so uh, this is basically the layout. We've got them set on here. Um, I'm gonna add another clamp and uh, square this up. Then I'll mark the holes and uh, take them back off and drill them out and get them in and bolt them up. Looks like that might do it.
probably have to admit that was one of the easiest holes I've ever drilled. And, uh, maybe you can see it a little better. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and hook up the uh, oil can and uh, commence to finishing these holes and uh, put you on time lapse. Mag drill, mag drill works good. Um, you know, it's not perfect, and uh, all, but if it's just, if it's good enough, then it's good enough, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, and uh, I'm gonna try and put it on there and see what it looks like. for me so I guess I'll take this off uh, I'll clean that hole up it looks like it's, it's a combination uh, the uh, cross member is a little back and my hole is a little forward of the frame so I guess I can I think I can just put the I just put the drill on there and just push through it And what I'll do is I'll wait, I'll get this painted, and uh, then I'll get all of these bolts in, and then I'll drill that, just clean that hole up, put a bolt in. And I think that's the, that's gonna be the thing. But that's nice, I get this one done. Uh, I get this one painted, I'll get that one uh, marked up, we'll get the drill.
Okay, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen holes. Uh, lining it up, spray painting, visual center punch, magnetic drill, um, 17 of 19 holes lined up perfectly. And uh, and actually the ones that don't, it's it's just the fact that this uh, uh, cross member is moving, so I'll just have to little pry it into place. So, you know, I can't really complain. I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna primer the, the insides and uh, bolt it together, and then I'll prime and paint the outsides um, after it's on. That way I don't scratch it all up, and uh, then I'll let it dry overnight. Uh, it doesn't look like we're gonna get any weather overnight, so I'll pull the truck out, we'll let it dry overnight, and, uh, and tomorrow I'll uh, set the fifth wheel on, get it square, and mark the holes and drill those. It looks like there's about, uh, let me just look real quick, and we should be good to go. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get uh, try and get it buttoned up tomorrow, and then maybe Friday we'll take it on a drive, and I'll uh, test the test the hoses, make sure that the trailer stuff's all working, the lights are all working, and then maybe uh, Saturday we'll make the trip and uh, go pick up the trailer. I have no idea where I'm gonna put it, but it'll be cool to have it here. So I'll just keep going. So here's what it got done. Uh, you see behind me, angles are mounted for the uh, fifth wheel. Um, they're bolted up. They're rust proof. They're primered. Uh, they're ready to be painted. So tomorrow, uh, I'm gonna pull the truck out tonight. Tomorrow what I'm gonna do is uh, set the fifth wheel on there get it square first I'll needle the bottom um, actually I think maybe I'll do that tonight yeah I'll move this out I'll move the fifth wheel in I'll needle off the bottom real quick put some uh, rough treatment on it and get it ready to set on here for tomorrow uh, then tomorrow I'll set it on square it up uh, pinch it down with some clamps mark it get some holes drilled 16 holes um, then I'll need to go get some bolts Get some grade eight. Uh, I think they're going to be half, grade eight half, and uh, get her bolted on. Find the airline that unlocks the thing. Get that plumbed in. Uh, maybe I'll hit it with the pressure washer. I scraped all the old grease off it. Hit it with the pressure washer. Get it bolted down. Make sure it works. I don't even know if it works. Uh, the one line. And then uh, once I have it on and working, uh, then it's good to go. And then I need to change valves and these just like that I can do tomorrow hopefully by tomorrow afternoon uh, tomorrow early evening tomorrow late night uh, this will be done this will be red this will be roadworthy may not have air conditioning but it'll be roadworthy and uh, we can uh, don't let me forget I gotta check the grease and the diffs uh, and the trans I'll check the fluids in the trans and the diffs and this thing will be ready to go get the trailer uh, don't know if I'll have time to change those straps before we go, but uh, it's not mission critical. So uh, I think what it comes down to now is just doing a little cleanup, getting this out of here, getting the uh, fifth wheel in here, needling the rust off, get it a little spritz, and uh, be done for the night. So I'll put you on time lapse.
All right, guys. So there it is. Fifth wheel's uh, all needled off, wire wheeled, and uh, rust coated. I'm leaving the shop a mess. I'm tired. It's late. And when I say late, it's like six, uh, maybe seven. And uh, I'm pooped out. So it's ready for it's ready for me to set the fifth wheel on, mark and drill the holes, and uh, bolt it on. Run the air, and the fifth wheel's done. I wanted to have that done today. It was the thing I was worried the most about. Ended up not being so bad. It took me half a day. Uh, cost one hundred and eighty dollars for. 20 foot piece of 3 8 4 inch by 3 inch angle iron I mean the prices of stuff is just unbelievable but you know you gotta have it you gotta have it so uh that's all for today I'm uh tuckered out appreciate you coming by don't forget to like comment subscribe and uh we'll see you